recently reinstalled a hard drive or installed a new hard drive on a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Pro, you'll get this message if you don't put the USB stick in. But what happens if you put a USB stick in and it still comes up? Pressing the DualShock 4 button will give you a message saying you need to put in a USB storage device. If you press OK with the storage device in, it will try and find it. And hopefully it will install the firmware. But you may get this problem. Now there are various different reasons why you'll get this problem. And if you go on various forums, you'll find loads of different helpful advice. But I'll take you through the main ones now. The first one is obvious. You've got to make sure that there's a USB stick there at all, or a USB device. Now, the PlayStation 4 original has two USB ports, and the Slim and the Pro have two at the front and one at the back. One of these should be taken up with your controller lead. So your DualShock 4 controller should be attached to this lead. The second one here should actually have the USB stick in. Let's go and put a USB stick in now. Okay, so the USB stick in there now. What happens if you're still getting this message? First of all, you'll need to make sure you go to the official site to download the system software update. At the time of this video, it's currently 4.74. However, if you download the update here and you've installed a new hard drive, it won't work because this is a smaller update, about 300 megabytes. If you scroll down, right to the bottom, you'll find an option to perform a new installation of the system software. At the bottom of this is a download now button. You will need to use that download now button to download the 800 gigabyte, sorry, megabyte file, um, which will be the right one to use. If you still find that that doesn't work, then you'll need to check what USB device you're using. USB devices come in all shapes and sizes, so you'll need to find the right one for your PlayStation 4 to work. Ideally it has to be 4 gigabytes or less. Many people have found that anything over 4 gigabytes tends to produce an error, the same error we see on the screen. Any of these things will do as long as you have an adapter for the USB card or the, just the USB stick. Note that the one on the right doesn't work very well because it interrupts the other wire that goes to the DualShock controller. Ideally you'd also want your drive formatted to FAT32. Now Windows 10 currently formats it to FAT32 but with 32 byte files. You want to make sure that when you choose format it's in the 4 kilobyte files instead. If we have a look at formatting now, I'll pretend to format this drive at the moment. I'll just pull this over here. As you can see FAT32 needs to be chosen and we need the 4 kilobyte files. Normally these are 36 kilobyte file, files when they're formatted. So we need to make sure that that's chosen rather than default. Once that's done, you need to make sure that you have a folder called PS4 in the root of your drive. It has to be in capitals. Inside that, again in capitals, you have to have a folder called update. Inside that should be your PS4 update.put file. Now this has to be in the right format with the right lettering, otherwise it won't get recognized by the PS4 system. Once this is done, it should hopefully recognize the update on the PS4. Once the USB is correctly formatted and with the update file in, restart the PlayStation 4. And this is what you should see on the screen when it does work it out. Again, just go to yes and it will initialize the PS4 to wait for that to finish and it should be able to have a working PS4 again. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please leave comments if you're still stuck in the um, space below and we'll see if we can help you.